for example, he has a specific Chachamim. We said to him, what we need is a book of Halakha that is brief, concise, precise, and based on what Chazal said, we have added Chumrot. I said, okay, well, what's the problem? It's a book. It's a book. Now, it sounds like a, a witticism, and it is in some ways. It also happens to be at least 80% true. It's not 100% true because I don't, I'm a Rambamist. In other words, I don't claim that the Rambam is always right on the It just so happens that the last couple of days, and today this morning, I was writing certain things to do with the Sigur and the Sahel Sisra that I'm working on, in which I'm proving that the Rambam's wrong about something. And I didn't, that's not my idea that's wrong. The Rabbi, the Ben Rutan, and the Rabbi, and then the list is very long. Who said that? This, on this particular point, the Rambam is mistaken. I don't believe that Rambam can always be correct, because no one can always be correct. That's the nature of, uh, that's the human condition. But, um, has anyone succeeded in creating a better basic text of Halakha that the average person can learn and, and, and make some sense of and, uh, and work with? The answer is no. There has to be something which no one else has been able to replicate. And particularly today, when you have versions of the Rambam that is very brief, but uh, very well uh, written and very lucid explanation, so that you can read it and walk away with having understood at least ninety percent of it, then uh, that's a tremendous uh, tool that the Jewish world has that they didn't have in the past. Because in the past, I know the fact is that most people, without such a perush, reading the Rambam, you know, line by line, chapter after chapter. Even a, a person who knows a little bit would, would perhaps understand 67% of what he was reading and not understand the rest. Which is also a great thing, by the way, because understanding 70% of the whole picture is a lot. <laughs> but there also is, there's a still 30% that you're missing. Today, you can really bring that percentage up to 90 or more percent with these people that exist. Very, I'm talking about Mifa Mishnah and Mishnah Talash Shalem, and I'm talking about the actually uh, run down the, uh, it's, it's called put up by Koran, with this with the Perush, right? Um, these are very good tools, and I recommend them to all people. If we accept something along those lines, without any kind of chassidut, that we always follow the wrong, we always follow this, we don't. Because there are certain things where people who know can tell you this, on this point, it's probably better not to follow the wrong, probably better to follow a Benetan. Okay, so there are such things, no question. But if we accept some kind of uh, system as the foundation, and, and then if that was the accepted foundation of, of Jewish uh, practice today, shall we say, something along those lines, with having removed all kinds of minhagim, many of which are, are, were never correct, and some of which are maybe have been, have been correct in their original place of origin, but today they're just going to cause all this chatter that we see today where everyone's working in different Terms and, and work, you work in different systems. This person follows the Mishnah Ra, he follows the Benish High, and this one follows the, the Chazanish, and he follows, uh, I don't know what, something else. That kind of system is not conducive to reconstituting a Jewish nation. That's, that's, that's not only conducive, it's, it guarantees uh, paralysis and confusion. And that's, that's what we need to move away from. So, how do you actually get everybody to follow the same basic halakha? I don't know how to go about forcing people to do that. It's not a question of coercion. But you can, I think you need to begin by telling people there is such a thing. In other words, there, there, there is an, a, a, a healthy and a workable halakhic system based on the primary sources of which we can work with and should be working with, and, and demonstrate and show why this is a better system and more correct than what other, something else that people might be working with today. And if enough people, certain people will begin to see that, I think, and some people I think really have. And, uh, and, they, and, and they'll go on, and they'll be interested in such a system. That's all. If, if, such, if such a thing ever is hijacked or taken to an extreme, as some of the Rambamistim do, that they uh, discount anyone else who's not called a Rambam. So Rashi didn't know anything, and 
and the Rabbah didn't know anything, and the Rashba's opinion is of no concern to us. If that's their opinion, which it is, and many of them, then that's, that's an extreme, unhinged, and... Uh, it's, a, it's almost idolatrous. It's, it's a system which is, which is not serious. A serious person won't accept that. And therefore, we'll, again, when you, when you do things in the wrong way, you convince people that, which you have, that there's no truth at all in what you were suggesting. There is some truth in what they're suggesting, but not in that extreme and uh, unbalanced way. The production of these videos and maintaining this channel demands much time and money. If you enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation and support. To make a donation, please go to www.machonshilo.org and press the PayPal button which appears on the upper right hand side of the home page. To sponsor a video or purchase Birkon Nusach Eretz Israel, please write us at office at machonshilo.org.